former Nigerian House Speaker, Femi Bajabimiela, has been terminated as a licensed lawyer of the state bar of Georgia in the United States after his corruption and ethical lapses have striped acceptable threshold for members. People Gazette can report. <laughs> The former House of Speaker or House Speaker, or is the Chief of Staff? <laughs> Leave a House Speaker. We are talking of Chief of Staff. The Nigerian politician who currently serves as the Chief of Staff to President Bola Metinumbu, himself a man of uncountable scandals, was ostracized from the prestigious body effective July 1st, 2020, according to records recently obtained by the Gazette. He was found to have stolen money from a client and also fail to pay his membership fees. Mr. Gbajabia Miller's disgrace in the U.S. underscores yet again the gulf between civilizations that exert fair and available instruments to foster accountability versus Nigeria, where transparently, fraudulently, fraudulent odious figures are in charge of the most consequential positions of authority. A several week, or for several weeks, Mr. Gbajabia Miller dodged the Gazette's request for comments about his corruption and punishment in the U.S.'s spokesman for the state house also failed to send in comments that were promised after several weeks. Georgia Bar officials told the Gazette that Mr. Gbajabia Miller's latest ordeal began when a client filed a grievance against him for theft. Mr. Gbajabia Miller subsequently ignored the bad and stopped paying the fees or his fees and other membership obligations. The Gazette was told that members were made to reach Mr. Gbajabia Miller through his uh, Petri Road address in Atlanta, but he frustrated it all. On July 2, 2015, Mr. Gbajabia Miller was suspended for five years. The Gazette learned the suspension was finally approved as a permanent termination of its membership on July 1st, 2020, Mr. Bayabia Miller, who was admitted to the State Bar of Georgia on June 29, 2001, was the Speaker of the House of Representatives at the time of his infractions in the U.S. He can no longer practice law in the State of Georgia, an official told the Gazette. is done. In a unanimous decision on February 26, 2007, the Supreme Court of Georgia approved a suspension of Mr. Gbajabia Miller for 36 months after he admitted stealing $25,000 from a client. He was reinstated after serving out of his suspension only for him to commit another infraction and led to his final dismissal. Mr. Gbajabia Miller, who was also been a member of the bar since 2001, admitted that he accepted payment of $25,000 as settlement of a client's personal injury claims, deposited those funds in his attorney trust account in January 2003, failed to promptly disburse those funds to his account or to his clients, withdrew those funds for his own use, closed his practice and moved out of the country, the court said at the time. Mr. Bajabia Miller, who had already been a federal lawmaker, for nearly four years before the verdict paid the money back in 2006 a year after a year before the judgment in order to get lighter punishment indulging being this bad whereas mr bajabia Miller has suffered the consequence of his known offenses in the u.s which spanned from the early odds through 2020 his corruption in nigeria has gone unpunished in 2021, Mr. Gbajabia Miller was among top lawmakers and government ministers who received heavy bribes from private businessmen to undercut local communities in passing the controversies 2021 law regulating the Nigerian hydrocarbon industry. Recently, he has faced allegations from within his own party that he received bribes to sell key government positions. A video produced by ruling All Progressive Congress Youth Wing accuse him of unbridled corruption that could severely undermine Mr. Tinubu's administration. He has yet to deny the allegations, but some of his supporters accuse those behind the campaign as saboteurs. After spending the past 20 years as 
of a federal as a federal cap a federal lawmaker house speaker and now president tinubu's chief of staff mr bajabi amila may not need to work again as a lawyer said a political commentator ken iluma asugwa he also has little to be ashamed of since he's on mr tinubu's team with yeson wiki a notoriously violent politician already condemned by foreign observers and atiku bagudu a former kebi governor who's infamous for laundering billions for departed nigerian detector sani abacha looking at the characters he's serving with has many reasons to brush his off brush this off mr sugma and abuja based legal practitioner said his inglorious days in the united states might be catching up with him but you can expect him to continue to thrive in nigeria where no one in power pays for willful infractions now so it be now now so it be you now so it that's so be nothing they happen nothing they happen oh i see nothing they happen i see you who has this information? Who has this information help? Yeah, yeah, OBTs. <laughs> now, so now, all of you are thieves. Because you will come out and support them. <laughs> of course, this matter has been on ground for, for, for God, God knows when. I think when he wanted to become the uh, House of Speaker or the Speaker of the House in 2019, this matter came up. They will sweep it under the carpet now. Mm -hmm. He thought it is in Nigeria where everything goes. Let him be dropped. Immediately, as the chief of staff, ah, forget, don't even go there. He <laughs> own papa will be say, he own Tinubu will be say, your office even pass all this one. He never even resign. And this one, he won't tell her make it come out. No, he won't do that. So, once they are in Nigeria, all their sins are covered. That's it. And you know what happened to Ibori too now? But because they don't have shame, because they believe that they have enough money, they've made enough money, they are local champion and all of that. So, that is what gives them that uh, kind of uh, confidence. All this on no consign on a, uh, we see they support this APC fraudulent government. I they blame waiting the no fit take in their own crime, but kept mute on Nigeria on deception. Those that barely spent four months in government have stolen your money. Why didn't you accuse the former governor government for your misfortune? Tinubu matter go wound you. I don't even know what this on the talk. Are these people people who are saying this? Did they form these things or what? People should not talk about it. You see that uh, these people from the Southwest, uh, they are just embarrassing themselves. They are disgracing well-meaning Southwest and Yoruba people. You come out and be defending nonsense. And this is where, how you think you can be lawyer? Well, they don't even take Nigeria serious. And that was the reason why they went to go and disgrace themselves in UA, UAE. Mm. Yes, so story... Story, tell us how Ikurimado Ibo's lawyer was dead. Ah, that one is dead now. Who they support her? Nobody they support her now. That is the difference between the Igbos and the Yorubas. You see that a just very tiny fraction of Igbos were trying to be to have sympathy with uh, Ikurimado. But majority of the Igbos condemn the act. But reverse is the case when it comes to the issue of a uh, Yoruba. Very small fraction of Yorubas. We want to stand on the truth, but majority of them, mm, they will defend them. Fraudulent ethnic by God, people should be, if you be ashamed of themselves, people should be ashamed of themselves. Mm. What do you expect from criminals? Embarrassing armed robber. But in Nigeria, he is celebrated, of course. Uh -huh. The way they celebrated Ibori. Uh -huh. Why are people like you always interested in bringing diligent persons in authority down? You didn't talk about Bajamela when it was nobody. Who told you? <laughs> Who told you this matter don't they since? But they cover her up. This matter happened. Did they make this story up? Go and do your own findings now. They are trying to bring him out. Do you think this is your stinking right up will take you higher? Hmm. You can never reach his level. Which level? Criminal level. So you people are celebrating Tinumbu with all the atrocities. Is that the kind of a the kind of a Wealth you want, really? 
Well, they are greedy and selfish. You Yorubas don't say that voted for Peter B can now see that Igbos are untrustworthy. Really? <laughs> is yes, Adebowale is here celebrating the level of a roguery attained by Femi by Jabia Miller. Even making him famous for his international crimes is also a plus for Tinumbu's criminality to have the his kinds infiltrated all through his administration. Mm. But Jabia Miller, another president warming up, you people can never get sense. You just throw banters at you and you will fight him. At the end of the day, who are the people suffering? You guys are the ones suffering. You see them, say this uh, majority of uh, some of these uh, northerners, majority of those ones say, very tiny, you know, for you, now you are going to be using torchlight to be looking for those who are even standing right. In the southwest, too, they are following suits. You guys, uh, so far won't finish you. You are still supporting these people. And you come out and tell us Omoluabi. Which Omoluabi are you talking about? Nigeria, my country. President Drug Baron is chief of staff, a thief who stole from his client's account. Unfortunately, I believe is, what I believe is that you cannot accuse, accuse anybody of not doing anything if they have not done anything. Nobody can come and frame you up. Nobody can frame any, anybody up if they have not done anything wrong. Almost all the Pablo Escobar, aka Bolatinubu team, are ex convicts with whom they were doing runs across Europe and America. Nigeria has slid into the lands of vultures, jackass, and hyenas. So, guys, let's say your opinion and have your seat on this.